Agriculture Institute, dear guests, I have the special honor and joy to welcome you to the opening of the exhibition Bucharest through the eyes of the Czech photographer Franz Dusek. I would like to especially thank the Bucharest City Museum, the Prague Six uh, City Hall, and the Romanian Cultural Institute for their support for the opportunity to discover uh, a new connection between Romania and the Czech Republic through the work of the uh, photographer Franz Dusek. The Prague born uh, photographer Dusek came from a family of intellectuals, musicians, and politicians. He was the successor of another Franz, or Franz Dusek, Dusek the famous Czech composer who, uh, allegedly at least, hosted Mozart in Prague in the 18th century while he wrote the Don Giovanni opera. Also, his father was a minister in the cabinet of the Hungarian revolutionary leader Lajos Kossuth. He arrived in Bucharest in 1862 uh, and he had there quite a long career uh, during uh, which he witnessed the transition of the Romanian society to modernity. It was the time when the Romanian principalities, uh, Valachia and Moldova, united, creating the foundation of the, uh, of the Romanian modern state, and also the time when Romania became a fully independent state and later a kingdom under Carol I. It was a time of great transformation from a mostly feudal society that uh, was for a century under Ottoman uh, rule to a modern European state with a liberal constitution, a growing uh, urban population, and the modernization of uh, its cities, including the capital city, the Bucharest. As any transition period, it was also a time of many contrasts. These changes of the city and its populations are witnessed with great talent by Dusek during his stay in Bucharest. He is portraying, portraying the images of the Romanian middle class and of the royal family, as, as he became, in 1867, the official photographer of the Romanian royal house. He was not only a studio photographer, but used to immortalize scenes of everyday life and architectural details of Bucharest. And he also participated as a war photographer to the uh, War of Independence from 1877. Dear guests, I think this exhibition has a double merit. It is a proof of the long-standing connections between our countries and it is equally an artistic testimony of great value of the social and urban atmosphere of Bucharest during the second half of the 19th century. Franz Dusek's photographs are, are also a proof of an intimate connection which is achieved through his portraits, attitudes, expressions, clothing, feelings of some of the most important personality of the era, including King Carol I of Romania, whose portrait can be found among the portraits exhibited here. His pictures also circulated uh, um, uh, um, in, uh, in uh, European and American illustrated uh, magazines. And he was uh, acknowledged for his work not only uh, in Romania when, when he received uh, uh, the, the Royal Medal, but also uh, in, in Russia and uh, Austria. His legacy is one of the most important in the Romanian history of photography, uh, and not only, as uh, the, I mentioned. I invite you to emerge in the world of Bucharest at the end, at the end of the 19th century in the perfect setting of uh, Visage Fabrana Gallery that hosts us today, thanks to the cooperation with Prague 6 uh, City Hall. And before uh, inviting Mr. Meyer to, to say a few words as well, uh, I would like to, to uh, say a special word of gratitude for, for you uh, for always being such a great partner uh, in the events of the diplomatic community that uh, uh, you host here in Prague 6 and for accepting to, to grant uh, support for these events. Thank you very much. Your Excellency Ambassador, dear distinguished guests, it's my great honor and pleasure to welcome you here uh, to this special uh, place of Pisecka Brana in Prague 6. I would like to extend my sincere gratitude to Her Excellency Antoinette Valka uh, and her team for bringing this remarkable exhibition uh, to life uh, in Prague 6. 
You know, I always say that Prague 6 is the best uh, place to live. That's completely true. Uh, but I must add that it's also thanks to you, uh, your embassies and your events. Today, uh, it is Embassy of Romania with an exhibition of famous photographer Franz Dusche. Tomorrow, it will be the Embassy of Thailand and their Thai market. Last time it was Embassy of Croatia, Georgia, Mexico uh, and many, many others. You are simply making life for citizens of Prague 6 uh, and not only for them, uh, much more interesting and colorful. Uh, so, uh, Your Excellency, thank you again and uh, I can't wait to explore uh, these uh, beautiful images because I don't have time already to, 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 to take a look, so thank you very much. Allow me to tell you a few words about the world of Dusek in my country. Franz Dusek reveals through his portrait photography the image of the Romanian middle class forming in the early decades of modernity. These are the professionals who transformed the society in which they were born from the light medieval age into a modern urban world, even if initially insular. He discovered and explored a rather unusual country, emerging at the age of the Eastern Europe, an Ottoman Vilayet and later an independent kingdom. He witnessed the incredible efforts of generations who, through their liberal professions, tried to gather a modern society and, through their collective ideas, a young nation. Unlike his native Czechia, which was part of the Austrian Empire and later the Austro-Hungarian dual monarchy, the two autonomous principalities, Wallachia and Moldavia, managed to build a reality different from the expectation of contemporaries. A world quite different from that captured in Ludwig Angers' cliché in Bucharest during the Crimean War of the previous generation. The cultural, social, and professional osmosis of the Romanian city with the European city was already in progress in that time. But I think we have a message for us. His words and Franz Dusek, in my opinion, and, um, we have a message for. Dusek gives us an image of the middle class in Romanian cities from the 1860s and 1880s. His clients, regardless of age, represented liberal professions or aspired to such professions. It was probably not a very different world from what he had encountered in Prague or Vienna, for example. The presence of possible similarities that is, of a similar demographic in European cities in terms of social behavior and profession. We can say that, back then, urban Europe was already shaping in moral principles and social values that today's European society is based on. The social and professional framework prevails over the political structure, determines and shapes in which each generation towards the final aspiration of a tolerant and harmoniously articulated political world. Here, in this flyer, you have a short story about uh, his career in Bucharest and their partner. Thank you very much for your support. And their friends, thank you very much for your presence. Have a good day. Thank you very much.